I was thinking of doing Cajun chicken salad and then I changed my mind and decided I'm just going to do chili, chili garlic chicken with capsicum, um, uh, maybe mushroom, or, I'm not sure yet, and steamed veg. So I do a steamed broccoli and a steamed carrot and I use my potato cooker. So I put puri puri flavouring and uh, barbecue peppercorn. I steam the veg in this. I bought this new induction steamer. It's a big pan that we can boil lots of water in. Because uh, now that we have turned our heater off we need to heat large amounts of water so I heat up two lots of water and some in the microwave and uh, that gets the hot water for the bath so far we've saved between 50 and 20 dollars it works out about a savings of 300 dollars a year turning our electric heater off and it's working out pretty good right now. So I'm going to fry up the uh, chicken with the flavouring, the uh, garlic, crushed, crushed and chopped garlic with uh, peri peri flavouring and uh, pepper, peppercorns, steamed carrot and broccoli in the steamer. So I can just stick that in like that. Stick it in the steamer. Just get the water heating up. Freeze enough. Get this heating up. I'll cook the chicken in there with the um, flavouring and I'll stick the potato in the microwave for four minutes put some butter and parsley on it mash it up and that'll be my meal I like to get free range chicken because it's moister chicken and also I like to think that any meat that I eat the animal has been treated humanely and it's been able to wander around on the pasture and that before it was killed. I can't go full blown vegetarian but uh, I, I like to hope that the animals are treated well. Any uh, potatoes, if they're growing roots, I'll plant them and try and grow more potatoes. Haven't been successful so far. I haven't got any potatoes off any of my plants. They've grown, they've shooted, and then something goes wrong with them and I don't get them, don't get them out. And I'll probably put some tartar sauce, homemade tartar sauce with it. <laughs> 